honestly, I'm just sick of them not taking me serious. Welcome to the Pole Vault Vlog. My name is Sean Francis and here we talk everything Pole Vault Summit. Today we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the Pole Vault Summit. No commercials today, but if I did, I would talk about uh, the Pole Vault Toolbox and how it helps pole vaulters vault higher. It compacts everything I've learned in 20 years of pole vaulting, so you don't have to spend 20 years figuring this crazy sport out. Also for commercials, I will not talk about the training programs that'll make you faster so you can actually pole vault higher too. I won't talk about that either, but it's all available on team shootcom Before we dive into the Pole Vault Summit vlog, I need to talk about a few things about pole vaulters. Because pole vaulters are wired differently. Because of that, you may have noticed that sometimes we're often misunderstood. Numbers are different for pole vaulters. One more vault doesn't necessarily mean one more vault. Our communication is different. We hate traveling with poles, but we love to talk about traveling with poles. We also see things very differently. Everything can be a high bar. Also, I know that pole vaulters, when they see an overpass sign, we all think the same thing. Could I vault that? And if not, how close am I to being able to pole vault that, right? You do that too? So do, so do I, all the time, all the time. And on a deeper level, we're all just obsessed with trying to solve the pole vault puzzle. How do we get our next PR? Which is really cool because it doesn't matter what your PR is or the PR you're trying to get, whether you're a pro or it's your first day. A PR is a PR is a PR. And that's the magic of the Pole Vault Summit. It's a place full of people, full of pole vaulters, who all understand you. And for me, on a personal note, it's easy for me to forget that the numbers on these videos or on social media are pole vaulters, our, our pole vault community. <laughs> Would've been funny if I didn't have a shirt on and my nipples just flashed up. It wouldn't have been funny for you. And so for me, the best part of the whole summit and the real treat is being able to meet you. <laughs> hey, listen, be, be, uh, be honored to, uh, to be out there with you guys. You got the first stickers of the day. I love that. Yeah. All right. Okay, what's your name? Kingston. You guys wanna say your names or anything? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm Maya Corey. I'm Tahara Corey. We already got your name, I think, though, right? Yeah. Say it again. You want to say it again? Yeah, I'm keeping <laughs> May know the meme account. Group the buddies. So with with my sincerest thank you, thank you for coming up to me, having a chat. I, I didn't have a place to vault during COVID and stuff, and so I reached out to you, and we got Skype lessons together in my pit in my backyard. And you yeah. literally stuck your phone in a tree, yeah, <laughs> so we could see it. And reminding me of the special thing that we share called. Nipples! <laughs> the pole vault community established in 1850. Pole vault's old guys, we're doing a really old cool sport. They started with a symposium. Everybody gets into the main ballroom and we get to hear our keynote speaker, which this year is Katie freaking Najat. And I made a video about it, I'll link it up here in case you wanna see the intro video. And Katie gave a killer talk and it got us all super jazzed up because Katie, the best. And here are a few spark notes from her talk that you can chew on that I think you will find helpful. And as excited as I was, you're only as good as your body allows you to be. You fight for every attempt. You swing on every attempt. Give yourself a shot because had I bailed on that, I wasn't making it as good as I was that third time. But I'm not special, but I'm just an athlete. I've got a bodyguard program that gives absolutely everything that I have and solve the world. This is Kaylin, everybody knows Kaylin. This is my wife Carrie. These are the lanyards they gave us. UCS Summit. And this is the one Kaylin switched it out with. No big deal. <laughs> one of the coolest things about the summit is they split you into different groups so you can hear different people talk. And for the young vaulters, you can ask these elite pole vaulters anything they want. Absolutely anything. They get to pick their brains and have this communication with elite pole vaulters. But one thing I noticed is that my friend Jill would follow Katie after everyone. And every time she would move on, she would say, hey everybody, 
I'm not Katie Najat. And then she would introduce herself and about who she is. No. You're not Katie. You're you, and you're freaking awesome. So 36 hours later, I was just interviewing random pole vaulters at the Pole Vault Summit uh, while they were competing, and this made my day. I have so many videos from last night. It's yeah. really fun. What's been your favorite, like, uh, do you have, like, a favorite elite athlete that you saw yesterday? Um, that really I really with? liked this one girl. I don't, I can't r remember how to pronounce her last name, but her first name's Jill. Oh, like, you... Jill Moros, Moros, something yeah. like that. I really like talking to her earlier in the day, and she's fun to talk to. You know, Jill's one of my close friends, so oh, really? I'll send her this video. Yeah, make her I liked her a lot. Do you, you cool. want to say anything to Jill, then? I like your tattoos. <laughs> I want a whole bunch of <laughs> I'd like to remind everybody, back in 2014, Katie was where these younger elite athletes were. Ladies, how's the summit going so far? It's, it's pretty fantastic. So I would like to remind you that you are a hero to these kids with who you are right now. And you're all super awesome. So while the kids and the vaulters get to go do that thing and they get to go do all these crazy things, learn how to pole vault, the, the coaches and the parents get to do different kind of talks and symposiums. And I was asked to give a talk on mental health. You ready? ready. Which is scary. I checked my heart rate before I even went on. And I guess that's what happens when you go into a room expecting maybe 10 to 20 people and there's over 100 people in there staring back at you. It's way easier to talk to this camera, you know? It's so much easier. I think the fear came from a few places. I didn't know how people would respond when I told them. I checked into a mental health hospital. I was hospitalized twice for depression. I don't feel like a mental health expert. I didn't know how they were gonna take the speech, the talk, the, uh, the my, my message. And I feel like I'm wearing training wheels when it comes to talking about mental health. Uh, in front of people, <laughs> so wow. The, the kind of the motto of this one whole life vlog project I've been doing about mental health is to not believe everything you think. And the feedback was absolutely profound and it solidified that I'm on the right track. And I keep getting asked if I'm gonna post the speech because I did have Carrie, uh, because Carrie was kind enough to help me film it, so I, I have it and, and I will be posting it on this channel and my mental health channel. I'm still just scared to watch it again. <laughs> Because I, yep, self-criticism is real. And I, and I can assure you that I will continue to keep the conversation going. And I thank you for showing up to a talk on mental health because that truly is what keeps the conversation going. The Elite Pole Vault Competition was insane this year. And I have to give out a few awards. Best Dressed goes to Carson Waters and his pizza attire. Kawabunga, dude. The Best Friend Award goes to Casey and Chris because every time I looked, they were high-fiving, hugging. You know, if there was milkshakes down there, they'd probably be sharing those too. Best Celebration goes to Sandre because anybody who tries to make love to the camera is a winner in my book. And Best Chalk Bag goes to I don't know the answer, but that chalk bag is a bee's knees. Anything that fuzzy that can hold chalk that will save your life pole vaulting. Winner, the Elite Girls Recap. Katie was on a whole different level. She won the meet from a short approach at 560 or 151, and she nuxed me, and I haven't washed this hand since. Two words, it's sticky. The Elite Guys Recap. A few years ago, 19 feet or 580 or anything higher was a massively huge deal at the Pole Vault Summit. This year, you had to jump 581 or higher to place in the top three. Mr. Casey Lightfoot wins the Pole Vault Summit at 591. And took cracks at 602, which would be a new American record. And I thought he had it. 
I thought he had it on that first attempt. You know what the problem was probably? Nipples again. Nipples, man. Why do we have them? Why do, why do you guys have nipples? And now the feel good story of the vlog. I met a young vaulter at the pole vault summit who is legally blind. Bailey about four months ago decided he wanted to be a pole vaulter out of the blue. We don't know where it came from. And when we started doing it, we realized that his eyesight, which has always been a problem, was gonna be even more of a problem. So we believe he doesn't have any cones. It's a con uh, problem called achromatopsia. Okay. And it's basically he only sees contrast. So he really only sees black and white together. Okay. Um, and he can see reflective light really well, which is why when we light up the box, he can see it reflect. So yesterday he couldn't see the pit at all. Okay. And not just the box, like the whole pit. Okay. And we had to decide that if we couldn't do anything about it, he would just have to know height because it wasn't safe. And he was a really good sport about it, considering we came all the way here to yeah. jump. And then they were able to turn on the lights. They switched us to a newer pit with more contrast. And he's jumping. That's so cool, man. Lots of times, like, he can't see the box. He's coming out, he can't see the box, and he just builds up anyway. He's like incredibly brave. So what made you want to pick up pole vaulting? My mom was reading down a list of sports, and I just saw pole vaulting, and Anna I thought, is oh, that would be fun. So what would you tell people about the pole vault summit if, if they haven't been here before? Because this is your first one, right? Yeah. So what would you tell those kids who may, maybe don't know if they should be here or not? Definitely come here. What? Why should they come? Because it was a lot of fun and I just think I want most people to enjoy it. Yeah, I think that's a perfect answer, man. I love this family. Triple, triple PR. Oh, I'm just very excited to be here. Got any, uh, any jokes? Oh, no. <laughs> It's the first time I got to see you jump, man. You guys look fun. Torino going so far. It's great. great. Yeah, it's yeah, fun. awesome. Yeah, it's, great. Great. it's awesome. <laughs> I love it here. Come to Reno for Bowl Summit. It's a blast. It's Connor Michael I. I'm a senior. I didn't get a ball because I'm hurt, but I came here to watch because football is just the best sport ever. Hurry! Oh, okay. oh my gosh! This has to be a record. There you oh, go. winner! I'm sorry, man. Your bar fell down. Can you say to the pole yeah, world? Yeah, what do you got, man? Yeah. Who's your favorite pro? Maybe Casey. He Casey? throws. He, he throws a shirt. So. Oh, you I'm got like, a Casey shirt. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Then you have to love Casey. Right? Yes. So that was pretty good. I haven't vaulted in five months, so I'm back up to where I was. Yeah. What? You started where you left off? Yeah. That never happens. I know. Congratulations Thank on that. You. How's your summit going? Great. I'm having so much fun. I didn't get to jump, but you know, that's okay. The kids are here jumping. And you're here. Oh, I feel like I, I'm the real treat. I get to hang out with you for a little bit here. She even signed my shoes. What? Can you show me? Oh, you got Katie to sign your shoes? Pole vault. Who's the most fun to watch yesterday? Well, it has to be. Nielsen. Nielsen? Yes. Like Chris? I'm going to let him know. Probably Chris. Chris? Yeah. Cool. Marissa was working our pit. Oh my she gosh, she's yeah. so sweet to us. Marissa? Yeah, she kept giving us tips. It was awesome. Do you like vaulting with socks or without socks? Now, I said I personally like socks. I don't like slipping and sliding around, but this guy. What was your name? Gavin. Gavin is a no sock type of jumper. So 9 to 11, 6. Yeah. So you're saying Reno's pretty fun then? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm not no, happy no. though. A PR is a PR. A PR man. is a PR, that's facts. All right. I just told him that he taught me how to put my poles on my car. That's an old video that I didn't I know. know people were even watching. Anymore. I still watched it. I literally watched it like two weeks ago. Something cool. Go fast. You gotta go. Ah, uh, no. Come on, you're on the spot. No. Come, on. Come, uh. on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Unexpected. What about down here? Anything cool? Well, I jumped 10 10. <laughs> I broke my own record. You're holding this and getting your arms tired. 
people at the summit is number one. Yes. Elites, no, yeah, officials are number two. Then the elites, and you guys are the glue that holds it all together. Uh, that what I like that. There I like we go. Sean Francis. Oh, but you're the glue. And to me, this is what I was talking about at the beginning of this video. The pole vault community is is like a giant family, and the pole vault summit feels like a giant family reunion where we're all there just to encourage and to support each other. Because when we're when we're not around other pole vaulters we feel like we're wired differently, but when we're around so many pole vaulters, we all feel like we're wired the same. I, I love that about the summit, but especially, but what's bigger than the pole vault summit is you, the pole vault, the pole vault community. So it's day three of the pole vault summit, the whole thing's over. Me and my wife decide we're hungry. We're gonna go eat down at, on the strip. And we go into this pizza place and the first thing they tell us is that it's going to be an hour and 45 minute wait, which is unacceptable for us because you know what? We haven't eaten since breakfast. One of us gets hangry and I can't say who. <laughs> so we sit down next to the other elite pole vaulters, AZ, PVA, and that crew. I'm gonna pretend like I just finished this. Yeah. <laughs> Slam it on the table. <laughs> so a pole vaulter walks into a bar and it falls down. <laughs> <laughs> and I was met with a tap on the shoulder and said, you guys need some pizza? It didn't sound that sketchy, but for story's sake, let's make it sound like it was a pizza deal. <laughs> I walk back there and it's a room full of parents and vaulters and a lot of the parents were at the talk that I gave on mental health and they were saying super nice things and the vaulters were kids I was high-fiving all weekend and they had a tale similar to Carrie and I's. They didn't eat since breakfast and they were starving and they ordered way too much and filled up on salad. Okay, so here's what's happening. These kind of people right here from the Pole Vault Summit gave us all of their leftover pizza, and Carrie and I weren't going to be able to get any, so we're going to see what Carrie's face is. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's get this. Oops, I'm sorry. Hey, Carrie. 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 That's all the pizza we get. It's all ours. So much pizza. So as I'm in this room and people are saying very nice things, um, about me and I'm, I'm being fed compliments and free pizza. <laughs> it just reminded me once again how freaking cool the pole vault community is. Guys, remember there's more than one way to pole vault. I'll see you in the next one. And so at the pole vault summit, I know the entire pole vault community couldn't make it. The pole vault summit Reno stickers, I kept a few at home and I'm shipping them out with orders of the pole vault toolbox. So if you get one of these, I will put these in there. I watch a lot of them, yes. Really? Yeah. Dude, I'm honored. I'm <laughs> of course, dude. Honored. I've but you posted videos since like I started vaulting. Yeah, 2012, I think was my I first. I love your one. like uh, your workout, like med ball routine stuff. And I want to get one of both. Did you hear his last three steps hit on the beat? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs>